Welcome to Linux Help Tutorial. In this session, you are going to see about how to install Gluster file system and installation on RAL and CentOS and Fedora. Gluster file system is a distributed file system defined to be used in user space. File system in user space, it is software based file system with accounts to be its own flexibility features. The advantages of the Gluster file system are innovation, elasticity, scale, linearity, and simplicity. The basic need of the installation of Gluster file system are at least two nodes with the installed CentOS and the fully qualified domain name has to be set for both the nodes and a good network working condition and storage block on both the nodes named slash brick slash data. This has to be present in both of your nodes. Here I am having two nodes. One is server node and another one is client node. Now I am going to show you the IP address of the server node. It is 5.191 and now I am going to show you the IP address of the client node. It is 5.190. Now I am going to show you the host name of server for that host name space hyphen f it is for showing you the fully qualified domain name here you can able to see the fully qualified domain name of the server now i'm going to show you the fully qualified domain name of the client for that i need to switch over to the client here you can able to see the fully qualified domain name of the client for starting the installation of Gluster file system you need to enable the EPL repository and Gluster file system repository. First, I am going to enable EPL repository. For that, yum install EPL hyphen release space hyphen one. Now the EPL repo has been installed in my system successfully now i'm going to install the gluster file system repository for that you need to download from this link by using duplicate and then press enter the gluster epl repo has been downloaded successfully now i'm going to install the gluster server package for that yum install gluster fs hyphen server the Gluster server package has been installed in my system now I'm going to start the Gluster file system management for that system CTL start Gluster D dot service now the service has been get started now I am going to see the status of the Gluster service for that status. The status is active. Now I am going to do the same configuration in my client another one node. For that I need to switch over to my client. Now I am going to enable my EPL repo for that yum install EPL hyphen release the EPL repo has been successfully installed in my system now I'm going to enable the Gluster file system repo for that you need to download from the link by using duplicate command and press enter now the Gluster file system repo has been downloaded successfully now I'm going to install the Gluster file system server for that yum install gluster fs hyphen server the gluster repo has been installed in my system successfully now i'm going to start the gluster service for that system ctl start gluster d dot service the service has been get started. Now I'm going to check the status of that service. 
the status is active and it is running. Now I am going to set the SC Linux to permissive or disabled. For that, slash etc sysconfig slash sc linux inside that file you need to change the uh, sc linux to permissive or disabled i am going to change it as disabled after that you just save the file in server side also you have to change the sc linux now I'm going to set the SC Linux to disabled in the server side. For that, we etc sysconfig SC Linux. You have to change the SC Linux to disabled or permissive. Now I'm going to change it as disabled. After that, you just save the file. Next, flush the IP tables in both nodes or you need to allow access to other nodes via IP tables for that IP tables space hyphen capital F the IP tables has been get flushed in the server now I'm going to flush the IP tables in client for that IP tables space hyphen capital F now the IP tables get flushed in the client side now I'm going to create the trusted pool in the Glasser file system. For that, I need to run the command to communicate with the client by using Glasser. For that, Glasser space peer space probe space. Either you can give your client host name or else you can give their IP address. I am going to give the IP address for that 192.168.5.190. It is the IP address for my client system. The probe has been connected successfully. Now I'm going to do the same process in my client system also. For that, I'm going to switch over to my client system. Here, cluster, peer, probe. Here I need to mention the IP address of the server. It is showing that the peer probe is successful and it has been already added to the peer list. Once it is get synchronized from server side, it will be automatically get synchronized from the client side also. Now I am going to check the cluster status. For that cluster peer status. Here you can able to see how many peers are connected to the client server, the host name, the UAD and the status whether it is connected or not now i'm going to check in the server side also cluster peer status here you can able to see the number of peers that are connected and the host name and the status now i'm going to test the storage pool for that cluster pool list here you can able to see there are two pools has been get connected one one is the client server and the another one is the local host now i'm going to check in the client server also cluster here you can able to see two systems are connected one is server and the another one is local host now i'm going to check the cluster volume status volume status till now i have created zero volume groups so it is showing no volume groups present now i'm going to check in the server side also volume status here also it is showing no volumes are present now i'm going to create the distributed volume for that cluster volume create here you need to give the name of the distributed volume i'm going to give it as dist hyphen volume space here you need to specify the ip address of the client colon slash on the directory of the client before you have shared the directories from the two nodes those directory name has to be mentioned here it is brick data space force 
now the distinct volume has been created now i am going to start the cluster volume for that cluster volume start here you need to mention the name of the distributed volume for that dast hyphen volume and then press enter now the volume group has been successfully shared now i am going to check the information about the volume group for that cluster volume info here you can able to check the information about the volume group the name of the volume group and the status and the number of the bricks and from which ip it has been shared and the directory also it will be showing you now i am going to check in the client side also for that cluster volume info here you can able to see the brick and the name of the shared directory and the number of the bricks it has been shared and the type of the protocol it has used tcp protocol to share now i'm going to check the status of the volume group for that cluster volume status here you can able to see the here you can able to see the status of the volume group distinct hyphen volume the name of the volume group share and to which ip it has been get shared and the protocol and the port numbers and the process id will be get displayed now i'm going to check in server side for that i need to move to server cluster volume status here you can able to see the volume group of the cluster and to which ip it has been get shared and the tcp port numbers and the process ids also it will be get displayed now i'm going to install one package in my client system to make the cluster to see to get more that volume group that has been shared from server side to my client system for that yum install cluster first space cluster fs hyphen fuse space hyphen one both the package has been already installed now i'm going to create mode point in the client system for mounting the cluster server for that mkdr slash mnt slash cluster the directory has been created now i'm going to mount the cluster server in my client system for that mount dot cluster fs space the ip address of the cluster server colon slash the name of the cluster volume and then press enter sorry i didn't mention my mount point it is space slash mnt slash cluster and then press enter it has been get motor successfully now i'm going to show to you for that df space hyphen h here you can able to see the ip address of the server and the volume group that is shared from the server it has been get mounted in my client system under the directory and on the size of the volume you can also see by using mount command here you can able to see the ip address and the volume group and where it is has been located in my client system on the type of the on the type it is cluster fs and the permission you can able to see in detail in client system now i'm now i'm going to make it as permanent mode for that vim etc fs tab inside that you need to mention the ip address of the server colon slash and the volume group name tab and the mount point in the client system tab and the file system is cluster fs tab defaults comma underscore net dev tab zero space zero after that you save the file now the file has been get saved now you mount hyphen a now it has been get mounted permanently. Thank you for watching.